Hi, my name is Ruslan and today I will show you the top 5 things to optimize your Unity game performance. But first, let me talk about Mixel Studio. Mixel Studio is one of the leading developers of digital content for the Unity and Unreal game engines. Check out the links in the description, you will find suitable solution for your needs and if you don't, contact us and we will help you. Please like this video, subscribe and click that notification bell to stay tuned, more content is on the way. When it comes to optimization process, there are a lot of things that you can do to make your Unity game run smoother and better. Today we will cover only few examples, I rank them as a top 5 list. Here they are, number 5, colliders. Unity handle collision between game objects with colliders, which attach to game objects to define the shape of a game object for the purposes of physical collisions. So, if you won't be using physics with a particular mesh, leave it without a collider. Also, mesh colliders are more processor intensive than primitive types, so use them sparingly to maintain good performance. Number 4. Lightning and Shadows Real-time light and shadows are calculating during runtime. So for objects that are not moving, you can back the light and shadows. For better performance, tick this checkbox to enable dynamic batching. For all materials used by dynamic objects, tick this option. Also, you can control the shadows per objects and overall shadow settings. Disable shadows for distant meshes and adjust shadow cascades. The lower numbers are, the better performance you get. For more information about light in Unity, check out our video Basics of Unity Light Mapping. Number 3. Post Processing The post processing effects can drastically improve the visuals of your game, but they are quite heavy on your hardware. So, to keep those FPS up high, you have to reduce post-processing effects or even disable them entirely. To find a perfect balance between the image quality and performance, you may use fast mode option for some effects. To get more details about post-processing in Unity, please check out our video Basics of Unity Post-Processing. We have covered most of the effects and their settings. Number 2. Occlusion Cooling Occlusion Cooling is a process which prevents Unity from performing rendering calculations for game objects that are completely hidden from the view. To enable it, you have to define occluders and occludes game objects. Then go to Window, Rendering, Occlusion Cooling. Then click Bake to generate occlusion data. It may take a while. Now, as you can see, Unity does not render objects that are not visible by the camera, saving you some more FPS. And the final thing on the list, number 1. Optimized models and textures. As was mentioned, there are many ways to optimize your game inside Unity, but if you are using already optimized meshes and textures, it will drastically ease your game development. Use meshes with LOD component. LOD or level of detail is a technique that allows Unity to reduce the number of triangles it renders for a game object based on its distance from the camera. It also reduces the load on the hardware for these distant objects and can therefore improve rendering performance. So you can create one in the external 3D software or you can use game objects that already made with LODs. The first option is requiring you to have a 3D modeling skills and time to create your own assets. The second option you can save your time and concentrate on developing game mechanics. For a large list of Unity assets, visit Mixel Studio page on Unity Asset Store. We have variety of game objects that can be fit in almost every setting and are optimized for better game performance. That's it! These were the top 5 Unity optimization tips. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. 